welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate Pirtle and welcome. Currently, I am undertaking a challenge called the 75 Hard Challenge. If you don't know what that means, I've done a whole video explaining everything that you need to know and why I've chosen to do this challenge. Click the link in the description box below to watch that video and then come back for day 42. So, as you can see, although I can't see you because it's so fucking glary today, we're out on a walk. It's about 7 a.m. It's 4 degrees and it's a little bit chilly. The reason that we are out doing this walk now is we're going to Canberra today, which I'll update you on on the drive. So, if we didn't, or if I didn't do some form of outdoor movement this morning, then I wouldn't have actually been able to fit it in later on and you'll see why. Hello darling, how are you? Look at this. We're in southern New South Wales, where else would you rather be? <laughs> so there was a frost this morning and the grass is still wet. Love that! Hello Mr Cow, good morning! Good morning! Get it? Oh yeah, sicko. <laughs> 50 minutes of outdoor movement. Tickety, tickety, tick! 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 <laughs> tick! Tick and done. Woohoo! So now I'm gonna have Brecky, I'm gonna do some work and then I'll check in with you when we're in the car on the way to Canberra! So as I mentioned just earlier, we are off to Canberra today and that means obviously that we won't be home, funnily enough. Crazy concept. So what I have just done to ensure that I stay on track today is I have packed my lunch So if you've been following along, you'll be well aware that my lunches recently have consisted of rice chicken thigh cooked in spices and Just a packet two packets of frozen veg Also gonna take a nani two packets of sweet and salty popcorn and a protein bar and I've packed snacks for her too. So that will ensure that my food is on point today. We're going out for dinner tonight, but I'll explain at the time what I choose and the reasoning behind that to make sure that I hit my calories today, stay on track and I don't have to start again. Yeah. So we are almost in Canberra, which is about a two hour drive from where the farm is. We are going to Canberra because one of my greatest friends who I actually lived with for I think nearly three years whilst I was at uni and just starting my career in my early 20s is an incredible classical singer. He has a concert tonight in Canberra. So we're almost there. It's just after 12. I am going to go to the gym because I really miss going to the gym and mum's gonna go check out the one of the national museums and then we, I have two cousins, mum has two nieces who live in Canberra and we're actually seeing both of them today. One of them is seeing their new house, the Savo, and the other one is also a friend of mine and the girl who's singing tonight so she'll be at the concert so i've just eaten my lunch because i was fucking starving yeah like i said i'll be going to the gym so i'm just gonna do a leg session you know maximize my time in the gym and do a really good hard awesome leg session which i'm extremely excited about so that will tick off obviously the exercise component because you saw we went for a walk this morning in terms of our food, like I said before, we're going out tonight for dinner. And as you're aware, if you're trying to stay within a certain set of macro targets or an overall calorie target, it can be difficult when you go out for dinner because you don't know the way that they cook their food, you don't know how much oil they use, you don't know, um, you know, if you get sauces, you don't know what calories are in your sauces. So I actually have no idea where we're going for dinner tonight. It hasn't been decided. Um, but by the time dinner comes around, I 
will still have around 500 calories left over so I have plenty of room to sort of wiggle and I'll once I get to the restaurant um, choose a meal that is easily trackable first of all and is within that maybe it's five to six hundred calorie range and obviously I'll be hitting my macros too so that's what I'll be doing for my food which will be good I took my I took my progress picture this morning oh shit I was actually gonna bring my book to read on the way except I forgot that so we're not gonna get home to like 10 30 tonight so I'll have to read it before going to sleep otherwise I'll have to go back to day one no one wants to fucking go back to day one that's a little bit frustrating but anyway that's fine so that's that and yeah chicken with you later so I did not think about the fact that gyms may not be staffed on Sundays uh, so I've just spent an hour driving around two different gyms and realizing that none of them are fucking staffed on a Sunday. Uh, so my mum actually went to the National Museum whilst I was supposed to be at the gym. And now I'm just going for a walk to get in the last 45 minutes of movement considering I can't train at the gym. And am I annoyed? Yes. Yes, I am, because I was very much looking forward to the gym. But I've just found this gorgeous lake that I get to walk by. So it's not all bad. So it's actually the next day now. I We got home really late last night and I was not at all remotely able to film myself. We got home just before 11pm and for those of you who don't know, I am a literal nana and I go to bed at 8.30 if not earlier. So 11pm was so fucking late and shout out to my mum for driving the whole way because I actually fell asleep and slept pretty much the whole way home. I'm not sure why I was so tired, but I was. So there we go. So I just wanted to wrap up the vlog and just share what happened in the last portion after I stopped filming. So as you saw, I didn't actually get to go to the gym, which I was am still a little bit disappointed about. I was so excited and I G'd myself up so much and completely didn't think about the fact that gyms wouldn't be staffed on a Sunday. But anyway, whatever. We're moving on and I actually went to meet mum at the National Museum and if you see the cover photo of this vlog you'll see that I met Shrek <laughs> how good <laughs> then we went to see my first cousin who her and her partner have just built a house so that was really exciting to see that then we went to see my friend's concert which is the reason that we went to Canberra so I filmed some of it so check out how amazing she is <laughs> Then we went out for dinner. As I told you guys, I was going out for dinner. So we ended up going to a pub. My friends actually very kindly asked what I wanted to do because they knew that I was doing this challenge. So we went to a pub, which obviously has a range of choices. So you can choose whatever you want. I just chose a steak because I've been eating steak for dinner every single night. So this was my steak. Then we came home and when we got home, like I said, it was quarter to 11 and I'm not even joking when I tell you that I was sitting in bed after having a shower and to read 10 pages, I was literally holding my eyelids up because I was so fucking tired, but I just refused to not read my book because otherwise I would have had to have started again. 
So this book thing, if you know you're going somewhere at night, Kate Pirtle, future reference, read your book in the fucking morning. Anyway, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, click the notification bell as I'm uploading a new video every single day for this 75 day period. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me and I hope that in some way, shape or form, this is inspiring you to build your anchor habits or your healthy habits to some capacity and if that is doing this challenge, then that's fucking awesome and please let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I love you and I'll see you in my next video.